Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the V-belt on a Makita gas-powered cutoff saw. Today we're working on a Makita model DPC-7311. However, replacing this belt on most Makita cutoff saws will be the same. Over time, the V-belt on your cutoff saw will wear out or break. Symptoms of a worn belt will be when the saw revs up and the blade spins, but as soon as you touch the blade to a workpiece, the blade stops while the engine continues to run. And obviously with a broken belt, the engine will run fine, but the blade won't spin at all. This belt, along with many other parts, are available on our website at ereplacementparts.com. Let's get started. First, we'll remove the side cover as well as the cutter head from our cutoff saw. The side cover is held in place with a couple of nuts. Initially, I'm just going to loosen these nuts and then I can use a long screwdriver to remove the tension from the belt tensioning screw. Now I can remove the nuts and pull away the cover. And the rest of the cutter head. Now I'll remove the handle support. It's held in place with three screws. Now I'll remove this cup that makes up the back half of the handle support. Now we have one more cover to remove, the rear belt cover. It's held in place with three screws. And now I can just pull the belt away from the saw. Now I can install the new belt. I'll just thread it around the clutch, make sure it goes down onto the pulley, and through the guard. Now I'll replace the rear belt guard and secure it with the screws. Now this rear piece of the handle support and secure it with the single screw. The front portion of the handle support. Now I'll thread the belt back onto the pulley on the cutter head and the studs through the arm. Now I'll reinstall the belt tensioning cover. I'll place it on the saw, and at this point, I'll just secure the nuts finger tight.
With the nuts holding everything together, I'll go ahead and use my screwdriver and tension the belt. At this point, I'm just guessing at the belt's tension. Once the saw is back together and back in service, you may need to make adjustments to this if the blade is slipping as you're cutting your material. With the belt tensioned, now I can go ahead and secure the cover with the two nuts. And that's all it takes to replace the drive belt on your Makita gas-powered cutoff saw. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.